how will it work? But uh, this directive was to all national schools and all the school heads who are directed to provide bank accounts and other requirements. But uh, Sushon, your take on that as well? Yeah, my take on this is that uh, this is a welcome move. Mm. And uh, the only problem is that uh, the stakeholders have not been properly socialized on mm -hmm. how to do it. And uh, the, the Ministry of Interior that mm. is charged with the e-citizen program and services has guided strongly that uh, they are open to further consultations mm -hmm. and that the national schools is phase one. So yes. it will serve as a pilot. Uh, E-Citizen is the w part of wider government programs of running programs digitally and government services digitally. With this one of school fees, and you know with digitization of government services, mm. you eliminate corruption. Let us not cheat ourselves. Corruption is everywhere. It is there in schools, it is in churches, it is in government, it is in the judiciary, it is in the legislature, it is everywhere. It is in the media. Corruption is everywhere. And uh, we, we think schools should be the holy centers of zero tolerance to corruption. And uh, encouraging parents to pay school yeah. fees through e-citizen is part of accountability. I have always complained, and I continue complaining, that we don't have accountability structures in our education system, particularly in the use of money. Since the advent of free education in 2003, mm. Saitoti tried to develop auditing programs yeah. and contracted Price Waterhouse to create a foundation of auditing mm. school programs. School mm. money must be audited. School programs must be audited. Mm. And uh, the, the biggest beneficiaries here our parents and students who may have been exploited yeah. through indirect and unauthorized levies. Again, uh, the e-citizen, the e-citizen, yes. e yeah. once, once it is executed, it is going to eliminate unauthorized levies. We have seen uniforms. Now, uh, you, you, a Form 1 joining Form 1 mm. will have to pay 30,000 shillings mm -hmm. for uniforms. Then uniforms are but now going at three why, times why, the why ordinary you, market this, price this, because this of the because of the corrupt procurement entities right. that exist in schools and therefore okay. and therefore eliminating I, I indirect judges but why is citizen is going to make for, it just easy. just to put this question there why national schools i mean schools are all equal they fall under the ministry of education but why it is being schools? rolled out in phases naftali the, here is an advocate of the high court um and, and is, it, it has I'm been stated that him, it is beginning with I'm, national schools it will roll down to extra I'm county giving, schools I'm not, and up to up to, down up to day schools. That is how it I, will work. 